Highlight alternate rows using conditional formatting. Select the cells you want to highlight. On the Home tab, click on Conditional Formatting and select New Rule. Under the Select a Rule type, select Use Formula to determine which cells to format. Enter this formula. The Row function returns the row number. Then the Mod function divides it by 2 and returns the reminder rounded to the integer. The formula returns these results. Mod function returns 0 for even rows and 1 for odd rows. The formula returns true for even rows and false for odd rows. Click on Format. Go to the Fill tab and select the background color that you want to use for even rows. Click on OK. Click on OK in the New Formatting Rule window. The selected color is applied to even rows that is rows 2, 4, etc. To highlight odd rows with a different color, instead of white, create a second rule. Select the same cells and click on Conditional Formatting and select New Rule. Use this formula. The mod function returns 1 for odd rows and the formula returns true. Click on Format and select a color. Click on OK twice. Now the odd rows and even rows are highlighted with the different colors. Highlight alternate groups of rows. You can highlight a fixed number of cells alternatively. To highlight odd group of rows, that is highlight the first group and every other group, use first formula. To highlight even group of rows, that is highlight the second group and all even groups, use second formula. Where row num is the first row with data and n is the number of rows in each group. For example, highlight every two rows starting from the first group starting in row 2. Select the rows and click on conditional formatting and select new rule. Use this formula. The formula returns true for the first two rows and false for the next two rows and so on. Click on format and select a color. Click on OK twice. Alternate groups are highlighted in the selected color starting with the first group. To highlight both even and odd groups, create second conditional formatting rule. Select the same cells and create a new rule. To highlight the second group and every other group, use this formula. The formula returns false for the first two rows and true for the next two rows and so on. Click on Format and select a color. Click on OK twice. Even groups are highlighted in the selected color starting with the second group. Change the formulas based on your needs. Highlight rows with three different colors. Create three formatting rules. Data starts in second row. To highlight second and every third row from second, use this formula. To highlight third and every third row from the third, use this formula. To highlight fourth and every third row from the fourth, use this formula. Rows are highlighted in three different colors. Highlight alternate group of rows based on a value change. It is same as highlighting alternate groups, the only difference being there are different number of rows in each group. For example, color the first group of orders placed on 3-1-2023 with color 1 and next group of orders placed on 3-2-2023 with color 2 and so on. Create an additional column to the right side, say column E. You can hide this column later. In that column, in the first row, where the data starts, E2, enter this formula. Copy the formula down. Column E is filled with blocks of 0 and 1, every new block starting with the date change. Create a conditional formatting rule using the formula equal to $E2 equal to 1 and select a color. Add a second rule equal to $E2 equal to 0 and select a color. Alternate groups of rows are highlighted with different colors. The group changes when date changes. Highlight alternate columns. The formulas for highlighting alternate columns are like the ones we used for rows. Use the column function instead of row function. To highlight every other even column, use this formula. To download practice Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.